Hi, I'm Ashit Mukherjee, third year undergrad of BTEC CAC from a Academy of Technology. So today I will be taking the session, getting started with HTML. Uh, so am I audible, guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's start. Wait, just a few seconds. Uh, is the screen visible to you? Yeah. So this is about foundation of web development. So at the first, I want to tell you guys that what you are learning, that's not the matter. Okay. So you may be learning uh, machine learning or cybersecurity or any kind of thing, right? But you need a interface to uh, provide it to the end user. So you need to build a end user application. So what it could be? It could be a web app or an application Android app. So I think that you need to learn an interface or something that you can build your own interface uh, for a client user. So this is foundation of web development, getting started with HTML. So what is a markup language? As you can see, markup language is a system for annoting a document in a way that is syntactically distinguishable from the text. In other words, it's a language that uses set of tags, codes, blah, blah, blah. I know there are lots of things, but I'm, I don't want to get into the details and the depth of the markup language. All you can see is that there are lots of tags and all other things. It's very easy to use. Um, uh, it's basically the foundation to create a web page. So you need to build your skeleton, right? Web page. Uh, the skeleton is your HTML. And the HT, uh, with the use of HTML, you can build your own web page. And it's very easy. Okay. So as you can see, I made only two, PP, uh, two PPT pages. Uh, you will think that uh, Dada is so lazy. Actually, it's the case. I am so lazy. But, but I want to boil it down to the VS Code. I think uh, you guys have VS, VS Code, right? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I will share my screen. Yeah. So this is the first web page, right? This is the first web page, first ever web page. This is only built with HTML no other things only html this is the world wide web the first web page uh so let's get started uh so this is my vs code and i will create a index.html right <clears throat> you don't need to start with lots of codes uh if you have vs code it will do the lots of things for you like if you type this and put enter, as you can see, this is the boilerplate of the HTML code. Okay. So there are lots of things going on here. Uh, this is the, uh, so our HTML page has on two parts, right? A head part and a body part. Body part is the main content that a user can see, right? When a client opens a web page, uh, what he see, uh, sees that this is the body part, okay? And the head part is the meta tags. Meta tags are actually uh, uh, good for uh, good for SEO, okay? So when you are trying to share the link, right? Uh, when you share the link of a web page, an uh, image will pop out, okay? This thing will go, uh, work only with the meta tags. So as you can see, first line, this is the UTF-8. Uh, uh, actually, this is the encoding type, UTF-8. Uh, and the other two meta tags are used with the uh, Edge browser's version. And the second one is, uh, the third one is for, uh, for the responsive purposes. Okay. It will help you to uh, build a responsive application. So this is all about head tags and this is the title. And I think uh, you guys need a extension. So what is the extension in HTML? H and ex extensions are plugins, right? Uh, so it, with the help of these plugins, you can do lots of things very easily. Uh, like you have to just click Control Shift X. 
control shift x and this will pop out uh since this is live server okay and uh i have downloaded it already uh now i'm opening it with the vs code as you can see this is my first web page if i write here anything right like this is my first web page so we have created our first web page and as you can see this is the title of our web page right uh, i can write anything like my name is ishit this will be the title yeah as you can see my name is ishit uh, so everything is clear to you guys or is it being boring i need a interactive uh, user okay, yes yes yeah uh, so let's get started so in the first i will try to boil it down some media tags for you so what the, what are the media tags there are lots of tags in the html a body a body is a tag head is a tag meta is a tag these all are called tags okay the so there are two types of tag okay uh, those who are self closing and those who are not uh like as you can see meta tag we need to we don't need to close the meta tag it's self closing okay that's why it's written written like this and there is a uh, uh, and the others are title tag so you have to start it and end it like that okay this is the syntax of a basic html so uh what is the media tag okay so as you can see if i try to a video okay we want to put a video on our web page let's put a video so you uh, you guys see that uh, vs code is helping me too much and i have to put a source in there and the vs code extension will help me to find all the paths of the file uh, so i want to put a video uh, as you can see this is the video uh, so we can pause play mute it or download it we can do anything with it okay and if you need audio tag uh, like a music or something this is pretty simple and the same so we are done with the music and the video so your website is kind of interactive right right now you can play video you can play a music okay and you can also put image images uh, like that image tag with the help of image tag <clears throat> and the image tag uh, you need to put a source again the same uh like this so has anyone watched naruto in this meet yes ah nice 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 and <coughs> so this is uh, these are uh, lots of like uh, media tags uh, video audio and images now we can get started with other tags right uh if i save this uh, all of the things goes so let's start about uh, let's start with the header tags okay these are the header tags h1 h1 is the biggest header tag uh so if we write this uh this is with this with this is the header tag and it will go to the range of 6 okay yeah this is the smaller one and this is the bigger one these are the header tags also you can do write a paragraph 
if you want to create a para or uh, create another para uh, so as you can write i am writing this yeah. so this will create a para uh, this will create for this is a paragraph tag and can do it. Uh, I think you are muted right now. Oh, sorry. I didn't see that. Oh, am I audible, guys? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yes. Yeah. So where I, I where I was at, um, anchor tags and hyperlinks. Okay. So when we click on the, uh, wait. I think your screen has. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. My screen is not visible. I saw that. I think it's my network. Have some there. Sorry for the inconvenience, guys. Is it visible to you? Yes, it's visible. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, this is the. So, what we are trying to do here, we we want to redirect to the second web page. Okay. When we click on the uh, anchor tag, it will redirect to the to us to this index dot index two dot html. Okay, so when we click on that, as you can see, this is the second web page, and you can also see the path from here. This is the local host, and this is the port number of live server, and this is the path where we act. Okay. Also, you can redirect to a Google page or a web page. You can redirect it to anything. Okay, right. Uh, if we put the path. Yeah. So when we click on that, we are trying to go to the uh, Google's web page. Yeah. 
Uh, no, it's not currently working. Why is that? I think it's not. Wait. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's because of my network issue. As you can see, we are redirected to the Google page. Let's go. <coughs> so we are done about done with the hyperlinks, and the next thing is uh, this is the very impressive thing uh, forms. Okay. So when you go to a login page or a sign up page, you can see lots of things, right? You have to put your name, your password, your email, lots of things. So how we can create that? We can create that very easily with the form tag. In the form tag, uh, we can put the input tags under the form, form parent. Uh, we have to uh, declare the type of the input tag okay so if we put a text here uh, it will tell you that what type of input tag it is it is a input type uh, which is a text tag so you you can only put the text here like your name or something yeah. uh, first name this is my page and also you can create the label with the label tag yeah. so this is for the first name uh this as you can see i can put my tags and you can use also placeholder attribute these are attributes okay placeholder name type these are called attributes you can put uh, anything like uh, placeholder is a default thing where what we want to see right so this is a text type okay so let's put put your first name if we write it like that as you can see put your first name uh this is the another tag uh i want to put uh, use the email tag okay so how we can put the email tag this is the email only you have to put the email here uh so you can write a uh, email tag another one is pretty crazy uh it's the range tag okay so you can actually put the range here okay like if uh, if i put this range and i have to uh, put a, a minimum attribute this is a minimum attribute value so i i want to start it from the zero and end it to 10 okay uh, as you can see this is our range tag and we can actually uh, create the default value okay uh, if we put the default value here, it will, yeah, as you can see, it's at the 0th index. Okay. If we click on the five, yeah, this is the default value. Okay. Value. And other tags are, we are done with text, email, range. Also, we have colors. Uh, You can choose colors. This is a pretty great tag, I think. No one uses use it by the way. Up to here, uh, everything is clear to you guys. Okay, right. Yes, fine. <clears throat> and we can also create a submit button okay so it will help to help us to submit the form okay so 
so as you can see we can put a name we can put an email we can put a range and we can put a color okay and if we submit on that you can see that our url is changing right so what is this okay what is that like uh, this is a question mark first name irshit mukherjee has anyone any idea about that do you guys know what is it anyone yeah query and params uh, so this is used for the uh, said when you create a form it will send the data right to the server so how it can send the data this is how it can send the data these are the queries that why it started with a question mark and these are the first name what is the first name here first name is actually the name okay like the name attribute the name attribute first name and we have the text so that's why it's going with the irshad mukherjee and why is the plus sign plus sign is because of uh, because of its uh, xx x ww uh, form url encoded it's a encoding type that we that we are using for the for uh, for for the query data okay and that's how you can send data to the server and then server will do the things for you like uh, if you are uh, log in, uh, if you are trying to log in in the website right uh, so he will uh, what he do that is like uh, the name and the password and password equal to your password okay so this these are pretty much it uh, this is the form tag it's pretty interesting so we are done with uh, media tags hyperlinks forms and lots of uh, pa parameter tags uh, bold italic uh, blah 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 and we can now we can start with <clears throat> div and span these are the major things of html okay so why we need div div is to create the section in our web pages okay so we uh, you can create div like that you can put para tag so uh, when you need to put a placeholder text like uh, the you heard of uh, lorem ipsum right it's basically the random text right so you can do this by in uh, in vs code right if you type lorem 20 it will generate the random text for you as you can see uh if i write lorem 10 it will uh sorry uh, now you can see we have random text here So this is a section of a web page, right? Like this can be anything, uh, like a header or a footer or a, anything like a hero, hero section or a nav bar. So we need divs, okay. And we have another thing called span. So why we, uh, these are pretty much uh, similar, but the main thing is span is uh, used when we, want to change something in under a section okay so we, when we want to create a section in a web page we we can do right uh, div and we, when we want to create uh, when we want to change a specific text from a uh, section we can use span tag okay so as you can see uh, i have uh, done this done this and if i want to bold the text I can do this. This is pretty easy. Oh, sorry, it's B1. Only this part of the text change. 
it won't affect the whole se uh, section or the whole paragraph okay that's why we need span tag so this is the difference between a div tag and a span tag other than that a div is a block type okay block type means that it will uh, goes with the block block by block okay if we create another div tag Uh, this is the uh, this is the div, and if we create a span, the span is basically inline, inline content. Okay. Uh, this gets very messy. As you can see, these are the two sections. And if we uh, if we create the same things like uh, with the span tag, uh, that's the difference of being a block element and an inline el element. Okay, inline element it uh, merges the two elements in the same line. Okay, but the div tag is pretty different. Div tag creates the block. As you can see, yeah. And we have some. Uh, if we want to create a line in the uh, between these uh, two sections, we can use like a horizontal rule, HR tag. This is horizontal rule, yeah. As you can see, this is a line. We can create another line. And if we want to create a new line, we can use uh, like br tag. Yeah. So it's creating a new line. Okay. These are also self-closing tag. As you can see, these are self-closing tag. So now we uh, saw many tags, right? Uh, like uh, media tags and the video, HTML, uh, head tags, body tags, lots of tags. Okay. But we can actually uh, increase our productivity with VS Code. How we can do that? So when we have a big, uh, large application to build, we can use this. Okay use of vs code so what you are trying to build now you want a div tag under this you want to create a paragraph tag and a header tag but i i don't want to do it in a um, traditional pattern that's why i'm doing this uh, div after this if you want to uh, merge this with a with a class name uh, you simply need to put a dot. Dot will represent a class name. Okay. If you want to put a dot and this is the class name. Yeah. So it will generate it, the div and the class name. Right. And uh, if you want to create three P tags under this div tag, you can simply write P multiplied 20. It will generate the all uh, paragraph tag, uh, 20 paragraph tags for you. Okay. Yeah. These are some productivity um, tips that you can use when you are building uh, with the HTML in VS Code. VS Code is a great tool for you to help. <coughs> and uh, I have left another, another media tag. It's not a media tag, but it can be very helpful. Helpful, iframe. Okay. So, what is a iframe? Iframe is used when we want to embed a web page or any kind of content into another web page. 
like if we go to the Bing web page, yeah, as you can see, this is the web page of the Bing. If we want to embed this in our application, we can put the source. Now, as you can see, the, this is the Bing's web page. Uh, we need to first we need to put the height and the width. Okay. Let's, let's it's not clearly visible. I know this. Uh, that's how we can embed a uh, content into uh, our web page. It is basically used when you are trying to hack another. Uh, it's used in cybersecurity and other stuffs. I'm not going want to go into deeper with, the, with these things. So these are the this is the uh, iframe tag. It's a pretty help, uh, pretty easy tag uh, for to embed a content. And uh, we learned a lot of tags. So I want to so how you can make your app SEO friendly with the help of the meta tags. Okay. You can actually put your own content uh, and your data, like, right. Uh, when you want to create your, when you want to put your own image, you can simply do like, you have to put a picture right like this okay in the name of the viewport and in this content picture you can you have to put your picture when you uh, when you're trying to send uh, your link to your friend it will help to help uh, in SEO search engine optimization So everything is pretty clear to you guys. Yes. There are lots of other things. Uh, uh, you want to suggest another thing that I, I, I missed it, that I missed. These are like all the tags and the uh, content you have in your HTML. If you have any query, you can uh, you you don't have to hesitate, right? Have you have you covered the topic of canvas in HTML? Uh, yeah, uh, we can use canvas here, but it's uh, we need uh, JavaScript. Uh, I think that yes, that is it. not part of the. And this is the only HTML session. That's why I, I don't want to cover the canvas. Anything, guys? Anyone missed any tags or any, uh, any content? I think uh, this is pretty uh, pretty much it. Uh, I have covered all the tags and all the attributed attributes in HTML. Oh, I missed a thing, a very essential thing: tables. How can we create tables? How we can create tables? Right, it's very important. Please try to interact with me, guys. It will be helpful for me. So we can create a table with use of table. Uh, so I, uh, I pretty much forget the table tag. Like it's the very easiest thing, but I forget it. Uh, 
so uh, now i'm trying to search it in the web how to create table from using html oh that's a bit silly thing so uh, w3 schools uh, a great content uh, if you want to learn html and all all of the other things of oh, uh, it's a great resource you can if you want to learn python java or anything you can use w3 schools it's a great platform yeah and i'm copying the boilerplate down and pasting that's what actually development is right copying and pasting is the main key of development if you don't know how to copy a thing and paste it on your website and want to work with this then you are not a developer Hello, it's, it's the developer. main key of development i just want everyone to like to join like is it a thing to tell everyone like the main thing the, the first step of being a developer is to like how to like get a keyword and google it like the the main yeah. thing is like to know the technique of googling it okay like you need yeah. to know the keyword what you need to search it like random you just can't search it anything and it will it, it won't give you the answer google won't give you the answer like as it was you, you saw like html tag using uh, like a uh, table tag using html like that's how you, you you need to learn from him like he googles the best search key actually for me like he'll no, get actually that's not the case uh, it's the uh, the content that everyone puts in the google stack overflow is a great thing when you are trying uh, when you are stuck in a code it's a great platform i, I insist everyone to, to use stack overflow and search whenever you stuck in your code it's very useful okay it's not like that uh, if you use stack overflow it will be copy paste and uh, it's not a exam right e you are not in a exam copying and pasting is not a bad thing you can do it and you are ma you guys are masters of it i i think and and one more, one more point to add in is like thing is like like it's not copy pasting the thing it's like giving a knowledge getting more boosted up and going through the topic again like it's like yeah. you need to put something in your website you need to put something from a site which which has already been made pura hard code nahi karna padega fir se na to like that's that's what you have to do exactly अरे बहुत सारे फारू लोग हैं जिन्होंने ये सब कोड बनाया हुआ है भाई हम क्यों करें भाई जो जो है अभी में द मेन की ऑफ डेवलपमेंट और डूइंग कोडिंग इज ड्राई डोंट रिपीट योर सेल्फ यू डोंट हैव टू गो इन अ हार्ड वे ओके या डब्ल्यू थ्री स्कूल आर ग्रेट एंड ओबीरूप शाह मैंशन अनादर ग्रेट रिसोर्स this is the best resource i think okay mdn docs mdn docs are the best resource if you are trying to learn web how it actually works javascript html css only for the web the domain mdn is the best okay uh, so i i actually want to continue with my uh, the table tag Uh, so that's how you can create tables. Uh, the, this is the uh, that's how we can create rows. Tr tr because of the rows. Uh, Th for the contents. Td for the descriptions. Right. Uh, as you can see. Yeah. This is a company contact and a country. That's how we created the tables in our. with html also we can put styles in the uh, html how we can do that using style tag okay if we create uh, no we don't have to put uh, style first we have to put bg color bg color is basic basically for the background color this for the black and i want to put a gray fill the 
this is a great way to create your own tables in HTML. This is a great way. And also you can put styles in your HTML. Okay. What are styles? Uh, you can color your text. If you click on the color and select on the aqua, it will, uh, the color is can change. Uh, yeah. I know it looks pretty bad for the UI, but this is what it is. So I think I, I covered pretty much everything uh, with the HTML. If you think I missed anything, please, uh, please tell me right now. I will clear it to you guys. Yeah, you forgot the market ends. What, what, what? Marky, Marky. What is Mark text? Uh, can you explain a bit? You just go from left and right or top to bottom. Top to bottom. I don't know. Uh, can you explain it for me? Actually, I want to learn from you guys also. Like, I'm not a pro or any kind of anything. So I want to learn from you. Okay, uh, it's, it shows like the community partners at the end of the site. Uh, it slides from left to right. Uh, yeah, that thing, you know. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, so it goes from the left to right and uh, it's uh, basically the loop. Uh, it goes in a loop, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you suggest me the tag? Yeah, I it's Marky. M-A-R-Q-U-E. -E. Uh, where I have to put it? Just put it anywhere. You know. uh, Mark. Okay. Ah. Okay. I got that in mid chat. Oh, it's a pretty nice thing. I did this, but I forget. Ah, uh, nice. Very nice. Very nice, Avirup. Thanks for being so coordinative, interactive in this section. Anyone other than Avirup? Uh, anyone wants to know anything? Ishit, do you tell everyone about that uh, dot wala thing? Uh, like, div, how to make a div using dots and image? Oh, uh, I actually to told that. Then so. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I will tell uh, again. That's not an issue. So it's a productivity hack for you guys. It. Uh, so when we go to the VS Code, if we click on the, uh, if we want to create a class name on a div, we don't have to write like div, then class name, then the other details. We can do this by only div dot your class name your class name and if you want to put a, a id you can put hash this is the id and if you want if you click on the enter it will generate the thing for you that's the thing Bishar. Is yeah exactly thing? exactly like uh, uh, without using the div also we can write dot then also uh, that a div yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah i also. want to add uh, something also you can create yeah. any tag with class name just Put the tag name and then yeah dot, yeah dot, the class uh, yeah, yeah yeah also we can create the child uh, container uh, actually we want to wrap the p tag with uses of header tag, uh, text tag okay so how we can do this uh, we have to only do this by p greater than sign then the text tag and if we uh, multiply it by three and if we click on the enter as you can see the text fields are wrapped up by p tag you have to put only p greater than uh, any kind of uh, tags uh, what could be the h3 tag seven times that's how you can create these things and if you want to create uh, if you want if you don't want to wrap uh, any other class you can actually put like this p plus a, uh, p plus uh, text it will uh, it will create the first p tag then it will create the text tag 
this is the productivity hack uh, for in, in the HTML. It's very useful if you are using VS Code. Uh, so I think I covered everything, right? Any other things? It's a great session with you guys. I have learned a lot from this. Anyone? Don't, don't even hesitate to ask me anything. Like, right, I'm not a pro. You saw that. How can we club two or, uh, okay. How can we club two or more? Or, uh, okay, okay, okay. That's a pretty nice thing. Thanks for suggesting. Let's go to the table section and we want to copy and then paste. Okay. So what he told that he wants to merge two rows or two columns, right? Shan Mukherjee, you want to yes, merge yes, the, yes. Yeah, yeah, you want to represent a many uh, columns and rows in us into a single one right yes yes so we can pre pretty much uh, do this by using row span or a columns call span so what is a row span row span is basically for uh, how much row it uh, how uh, what is the number of the row that it uh, the content will take so company is now only taking the co column of one uh, its uh, current column span is 1 and we want to increase it to 2. Actually, I, I have to put the styles here. Otherwise, it won't be visible to you guys. Digital black. Digital gray. Uh, I put the wrong. As you can see, contact, uh, where is the company? Uh, yeah, company is taking the count of row numbers to two rows. It, it's taking the span of two rows, two columns, sorry, not rows, two columns. Yeah, that's the thing, right, uh, Shyam Mukherjee? Yes, I got it. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, you can also use row span for merging the rows. If you want to uh, visualize a content with on, a use of only one row, you can just do by row span. If you put row span and put a number, yeah, as you can see, Alfred, uh, what, uh, yeah, it's taking the two, two rows. I think this is the thing, Shan. This is fine. I got it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, what uh, use of iframe tag? Yeah. So iframe tag is basically when you want to put. When you want to embed a content into your own web page okay so we have a bing's web page right when we want to uh, uh, embed this into our web page we just have to do this iframe tag and use the source and in the source we can put the bing And we have to put the width. Sorry. 900 width and height of. So that is the use of iframe tag. Also, we can uh, use this uh, for cybersecurity or if any kind of uh, hacker. Um, use this tag for hacking stuffs and it's basically cyber security part. 
it's it's a very useful tag if you want to put a content or others content into your content uh, the actual use case is uh, uh, google ads you saw the google ads right uh, when you go to the app uh, you saw many google ads or fair meta ads there are lots of ads right those are uh, uh, you uh, used or embedded with the iframe tag that's another use case of iframe tag you can also put the ads and other stuffs dada bolchi ji what is the use of span tag okay uh, so i actually covered it by i want to cover it again <clears throat> so if you have a paragraph tag and put lorem multiplied by 20 it will create uh, the 20 lines of uh, uh, random text okay and if you want to change only uh, this word right only this word if you want to change the color of the corporis i know what what is it but this is yeah if you want to change the corporis you can simply do it by style use and color Color blue. If you go to the web page, yeah, that's the thing. Is it visible to you guys? This is corpus corporis in blue. That's the use of span tag. <clears throat> What is the difference between strong and B tags? Okay, this is a pretty good question. What is the you uh, difference between strong and a B tag? so you uh, these are the actually two tags uh, for the uh, making the highlight when you want to highlight a text you have to use the strong tag and the b tag when you want to bold a tag if it's a very necessary or a very important text then you have to put strong it highlights the text more than a b tag okay when you want to uh, create a important text always use strong it's a uh, uh, question that uh, in interview uh, they lots uh, in lot of interviews they ask it's a pretty easy question and the em and i tags and em and i tags are also pretty same they emphasize a text em is em used for emphasize a text and i tag is used when you want to change the font uh, into italics font okay what is url encoded in html uh url encoded is basically a format okay you guys know ascii right american standard code for interchange uh, yes, international yes, interchange yes, yes. code yeah so what ascii do does is that it changes the code into its number form right it's a way of rep representation url encoded uh, url encoded in html also does this with use of utf8 so what is utf8 utf8 also is a encoding form when you go to a web page when you go to a web page uh, this is a web page <clears throat> so as you can see when we put a uh, spaces or tags it will uh, it will be represented as a percentage 20 so what is percentage 20 it's basically used when you have a space tag when you have a space in a text in the query it won't be represented as a space it it will be represented as a percentage 20 so th there are lots of url encoding you can go to the utf8 in html encoding uh, character encoding uh, actually these are the spacing and the numbers of decimals utf8 uh, where is the thing that i want to tell you guys url encoding Ah, as you can see, you are you, are you focusing on this web page, right? Plus signs and the equals uh, plus signs and uh, the percentage twenty or anything. These are actually the URL. Ah, yeah, 
like this space is represented as a percentage 20 exclamation is represented as a percentage 21 there are lots of things yeah these are the url encoding yeah 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 bishak yeah thanks bishak any other things guys Uh, I think you have talked about most of the text. If it's okay, can you yeah. talk about the DOM, real DOM and virtual DOM? Uh, okay. The, so what is a DOM? Data object model. Okay. So DOM is basically what you can see in your web page. Okay. It has its own hierarchy. This is how you can represent your web page, like all the tags. It uh, divided into two parts right head and the body and all these things what you can see in the web page is a dom this is uh, this is the simplest uh, form i can uh, tell you guys about dom and what is virtual dom it is used in react and many other frameworks so what is virtual dom is that your dom is actually coded into javascript and stored into the web page it's uh, when when a user open uh, opens uh, the uh, his application web app, then he can uh, uh, see the changes. Okay, not everything loaded uh, first. It it is bad for the uh, SEO, but uh, it's actually uh, uh, used for uh, making uh, faster interactions in your applications. It is used by uh, it is used in JavaScripts or react a javascript framework like right uh, like the react has has a virtual dom it basically memoization mem uh, is basically memoization so what memoization does it stores the data from you when you need it uh, it will uh, uh, store it with the key and value you can uh, show the data wherever whenever you need it okay so that's uh, virtual dom some new developers who are starting JS before doing HTML CSS is asking that when to use scripts in the head and when to use scripts in the body. Okay, that's a good question. So when we want to scripts on the head tag, so we have to use the head, uh, we have to use scripts in head when we are using the CDNs. What is CDN? CDN is a content delivery network. So what it does, it serves a content to you. OK, so it serves a content. So when you have a already built in content, you can use it in head tag. OK, like uh, uh, there is a when you are using Bootstrap, you have to um, put the uh, script in the head. OK, and when you have your own scripts, own written scripts, you can do uh, you can run this in the body tag. Okay. You do. Uh, you actually don't want your scripts run before your code, right? Uh, it will give errors. Okay. Uh, if your uh, if your script code runs before uh, the co the code generated by the DOM, then it will give errors for, uh, because it won't find the code. That's why we put lots of things like uh, differ, 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 differ tag, differ attribute to load after the, the after our uh, dom is loaded right yes, thank you yeah any other stuffs you need to know other than html css or anything uh, can we get an overview of uh, chrome dev tools yeah this is a great thing for developers. Uh, so how you can open the dev tools? It's uh, it's it is used uh, when we want to use the dev tools. We want to use the dev uh, dev tools when we want to debug the codes. Okay, it's a good code. Uh, it's a good thing for developing the app. Uh, as you can see, if we want to clear uh, click on the 
uh, wait, uh, if we want to change if our site is responsive or not, we can click on this uh, button and actually we can check it is, is it responsive or not. I don't know how, but it's actually responsive, guys. Without CSS, it's responsive because uh, we, that's uh, it's responsive because of the meta tag. I told you, right? Uh, this is the meta tag with the device initial scale 1.0. This this meta tag does the responsiveness, default responsiveness for our web page. Okay. You can also change the styles from here. In the styles tag, you can change the other things. Uh, we don't need iframe. If we want to go, uh, yeah. Huh. The, so if we put styles in this, we can actually change this. Uh, if we put a color in this or a background color and background color we want black yeah so background color is black now is it visible to you guys and we want to actually visualize yeah, the text. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's not visible currently. How we can do this? How we can do this? By changing the color of the text using the color tag. Uh, white. A monochrome background. Yeah. That's how the, you can use it to visualize if it's working fine or not. Also, there are lots of other cases when you need the dev, dev tools. So when you when we go to the Bing site and if we inspect it, how we can see the interactions with the uh, with the server? How we can see the interactions with the server? We just have to go to the network. This is the network tag, and these are the requests that the uh, this is this site is sending to the server. These are the actually server side URLs or request that this ser Bing server, uh, Bing's client server is requesting from the origin server. Yeah, as you can see, there are lots of header tags. What type of request is that? It's a get, get type. It's sending status code uh, 2200. 200 is uh, referred uh, actually. It's, uh, it's working fine. So you can use this in a great way. Uh, you can also watch for the waterfalls. If your app is working slowly, you can also, also walk, uh, go through with the wa waterfalls. This will help you to debug the server side rendering, uh, server side requests. Also, there you can see the files here. These are lots of the files that they are using in the Bing's web page. Yeah. And this is the part of where console. Console is a great thing. You can do anything with it. Actually, it's used for writing these scripts. If we want to script anything like uh, how to print a uh, hello world in JavaScript, we just have to put console, then log. Hello world. Yeah. Hello world is printed. You can do anything. So Chrome DevTools is used when you want to debug your application and it's a great tool for hackers. Okay. So when you go to the site, you, you get uh, options like uh, cookies. Or what hacker does is that they, uh, they actually take the cookies from this console and uh, use it for their own benefits. It's, it's a great tool for hackers. If you are uh, learning cybersecurity or hacking, ethical hacking, then uh, Chrome tool, uh, Dev's Chrome tool is uh, it's a great tool for you. Okay. And there are lots of other 
stuffs like performance, application, memory. In the yeah, you can actually saw the cookies of your web page, uh, all the cookies that your web page stores by this. All the local storage. Actually, your web page has a local storage. Uh, local storage has its own storage. It's not like a database, but actually it stores your data, your small uh, data, like. Uh, uh, when you are logged in, it stores a session token for you. It helps you to when when you uh, re, uh, when you get back to the page again, you you get logged in. Okay, so your session token is stored. So that's the use of the dev tool. Yeah, you how much data can be stored in uh, local storage? Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's uh, 5 MB to some 5 MB or yeah, we can actually Google it local storage of browser. Oh, so yeah, 5 MB. I think uh, I and, uh, and what's the difference between local storage and session storage? So local storage is used when you want to persist a data even when you changes the tab okay it actually used when you want to persist the data okay uh, so if you changes your tab your local storage data will persist and when you need when you need it you can retrieve it but it's not the same for the session okay session actually got uh, deleted when you changes your tab or closes your uh, browser or closes your site, it actually changes. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Anything apart from that? So, yeah, you know uh, how the network runs in our web page, network tag in the dev tools. It's a great thing to know. I will insist you to Google if after this uh, session, how the dev tools actually work when you are working in a front end or a back end developer. You can, you need to know how to use dev tool effectively. Dev tools is a great tool for web developers. Okay, also and also for the hackers. If you want to learn cyber security, ha ethical hacking, or web pay, uh, web development. You need to know how a Chrome DevTool works. Any other things? So I think we can close this session, right? Okay, okay, we have another question. Have been doing web dev since one if I've still learned new things. There is no limit to learn. Thanks. Ah, uh, no. <sighs> yeah, that's really great. Ronit is a great student. You can also ask helps to him. He's a great guy. Also a great resource, I can tell you guys. Ronit Banerjee is a great resource on its own. Ah, and God, God is here. Bishak Niyogi, awesome session. God Actually, that, that's not God tier. <laughs> I pretty much googled everything. So, what are the new things that you have learned today? Uh, can you type it on the meet meet chat? What are the new things that you have learned today? Maybe someday you will talk about Microsoft. Sure, sure, sure. I would love that. Actually, I want to take a session that how microservices works. Also, the DevOps go to do. <laughs> also, I know Golang. I can take a session on how to work with Golang. Golang is a programming language. It is developed by Google. If you don't know that. It's a very good uh, programming language if you are working with threads and multi-threading programs. Uh, so Golang is a very good tool. In uh, Also in the cloud, Golang is very used 
there is a, a database called planet scale it's using go in their internal services planet scale is a great database and other than that we have kubernetes docker these kind of things are also built in golang it's a great programming language thanks overu Rajaji, we can push cloud native yeah that's a great thing cloud native is a best thing i i think ronit banerji can help me any other fellow want to help me in the cloud native sessions if you want to know about i don't know actually actually i wo i'm working in currently devops and ci cd stuffs that's why i am no i know little bit of cloud native and the how cloud instances work i can actually teach you uh, how cloud works and other than that thanks for your feedback guys it's a lovely session i've never had this crowd it's a it's really a crowd for me to interact with you guys yeah yeah sure sure ronit banerji sure any other things if you missed any uh, tags or any uh, content of this uh, session you can also watch the recording uh, we are recording right somojit and anyone yes yes we have recorded <coughs> yeah, yeah so yeah, you yeah. can actually Uh, so you uh, you can actually go to the previous recordings and you can learn from that hoping more sessions will come from your end up yeah i will try i will literally try and next time i will be more prepared than this it's actually a uh, first session for me guys <laughs> yeah you can enjoy your biryani now virup shah please share your feedbacks yeah sure i will share my feedbacks in the resource your community center chat box yeah i uh, i think uh, we need a, a entire session for that i think uh, ronit banerji co covered that right engineering engineer student ronit banerji actually covered the cloud computing or uh, in other in other session you can also uh, uh i have already took a session yeah 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 ronit banerji already took a session on that yeah go to go to the youtube channel you can check the uh, video there oh i see this is your first session and i will insist you guys to do one thing it's not for me it's only for you okay so i believe in learning in public okay so what's learning in public i want i i insist you guys to share your learning your learning journey in twitter or linkedin that's a pretty good thing that you can uh, expand your territory in the cs background and you can expand your network with other developers also the uh, hr committee can uh, so so you can see your post there and somehow you will get hired with this exactly like uh, one more thing to add like if you're not comfortable in posting it on social media as like you can put it on discords also like we yeah. people can start from a like a small like cluster like we all are living in a cluster yeah. phd people are not talking about things what they're doing they're telling they are always, always having a mindset that he will be better than me it's not like that bro we'll grow together and it will be a very yeah. good community if you're working together and will help things out is what actually you don't know guys actually today i learned a lot from you guys too okay learned a lot from you guys that's a really great interactive session with you guys can i post on my linkedin yeah sure why you are asking me that that's your personal thing you can share this also uh, can you please turn on your video i want to take a small screenshot Yeah, yeah, sure. wait, wait, let me put on mine. It will be great for me. I I actually want to post it on the LinkedIn. It's my first session also as a speaker. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Eh, hey, no one. Are Oviru? Please turn on your uh, video. Thanks guys
uh, engineer student can you please yeah now i'm going to take this screenshot it's lovely to meet you guys uh, i think you can turn off your uh, i have taken it i have taken the screenshot yeah so always post what you are learning every day on the linkedin or twitter it will help you to grow okay